cool. I guess now that we know that it will fit a Safari Land holster, I guess that's the end of the video. No, I'm just kidding. There's there's more. I'm gonna do talk about the light and all that. How you doing? Hope everyone's doing well. I am bringing you the brand new, just came out this week this year, the Streamlight TRL One HLX. This one has rechargeable batteries, and yes, as you saw in the intro it will fit Safari Land holsters. I don't understand why nobody will say that. Every video I saw about this light that came out, uh, just it's, they won't mention it fits Safari Land holsters, but yes, it will fit a Safari Land holster. I've been playing around with it a little bit. Uh, just, I haven't been filming it because it, you have to actually change out the, uh, you have to change out the rail key to, to a Glock key. And it just, it's kind of time consuming. Use, make sure you follow directions. I know, as guys, we don't follow directions, but it's kind of important in this one, step by step. And it's very simple. It does come with a charging cable, and I have the batteries charging, and it's really bright. I even got got the other switch on here, kind of comparing the two. Actually, I can tell you right now, this is a lot better. It's a game changer, and I'm going to go over that. I kind of want to go over the, the similarities of the, tier, the Streamlight TRL1HL. And uh, I, I'm not, I, I like it to a point, but we're going to go over that too. As some of you may know, uh, I like the Surefire X300. I have an X300 Ultra on my duty gun, and I like it. And I was really looking for to get another X300 Turbo for my Sig Sauer build that I'm doing, and it's $300. Actually, it's almost four hundred dollars, depending on where you go. I think I've seen it low as maybe three twenty on a website, but even on Amazon, it's almost like three hundred fifty bucks, three hundred sixty dollars. That's a lot of money. So I was just thinking, well, you know, I'm gonna get a Safari Line holster anyway, as they take all types of holsters. So I'm gonna get a TRL nine. Yes, the one that looks kind of weird. But I went to, I was looking at, I went to the website, and I saw this right here, the TRL. HLX, and I was, all of a sudden, it has these switches on here, and I really like the switches. The only thing I don't like about the TRL one is the switch. I didn't don't really care for it that much. I mean, if you're a right-handed shooter and you're using your support hand, all you have to do is press down. But if you're, and if you want it on, you just press up. And if you're a left-handed shooter and you use support hand, it, you can just raise it up, and if you want it on, just press down. Now this is where it kind of got confusing for me. So put on the training, put training gun. You want it on, you press down, which is nice for a right-handed shooter. On, then you make that transition because you you're clearing a corner or something, and now you have to remember. Oh yeah, it has to be up and then down. And if you're a left-handed shooter, from what I've been told, it's really this was pretty easy to do. I, I know a couple of left-handed shooters, but I just didn't like the switch on it. Or the the surefires, they're consistent every time. No matter what side, if you transition, you're making that, you need a light, you got it. You know, you don't have to worry about, oh, is it up, down, or, you know, you just, you don't have to think about it. Otherwise, I think it's a good light, but as far as the switches go, I like the X300 better. With a new TRL H1X, it's now consistent on both sides. So if you need to make that, you still have that same, it works either way. 
set the press down on the switch. Again, I, I like the switches on this. This is one of those things that it reminds me of a modification you can get with, um, it's, it's a separate, you get for the X300, the mod light, I've seen it online a couple of times, but this here is nice. You just, all you have to do is just have a good grip. And if you need your light, just bring it down. You don't have to bring it all the way down here. I don't, I don't have the light locked down, so it's going to move a little bit. But yeah, you don't have to do that. Here you just, it's nice. And I did remove the other one on here. Uh, it just interfered with the trigger. But yeah, I like this feature. It's really nice. Another feature you may notice too, is that it goes all the way to the back. Where TRL1, yeah, that space right there. I think it's just the switch. Kind of look at it, compare it side to side. You'll notice it's just, I think it's just the switch is just a little bit bigger. But they're about, they're about the same size. So yes, this thing will take CR123s if you need to in a hurry. If you need to, put these in just by pressing the button here. It's pretty simple. Bring this forward. Just bring it in like that. Now it works. It's not a it's not as bright, it's about a thousand lumens. With the with three chargeable batteries in, it's 1500. And I, I read a post online that kind of made sense why that happens. These are low output batteries, so they get a better, a higher charge, where these are high output batteries. And they get a, a lower charge or something like that. I'm not gonna go find the post, but it made kind of sense to me about it. Show you what it looks like with the uh, on the weapon light or mount. I'll show you what it looks like mounted on the weapon. I would recommend maybe unloading it. You just press the button in. If you need to, just make sure you avoid the muzzle. There you go. It's one thing I've kind of noticed too about this is that it's actually you'll notice that it, you can actually it's milled out for the batteries where the other one isn't. The batteries do have this Y cable. And you just plug it in. It's really simple. You just plug it into a, some type of charging unit, USB A. It doesn't come with the uh, with the strap, and they'll turn red. You can charge them at the same time. Well, there's a red LED, and on the other side, there's a green LED. And I'll roll in some footage of the green LED. Let's talk retail price. This is kind of where like something like this you're expecting, you know, a pay a, a lot of money for. Uh, I've, you know, online, I've seen it for advertised to between 219 and 230. Uh, if you go to Amazon right now, they have it for 219. And that's kind of like a lot of the places I saw it at. If you go to Botac Tactical, which is, they are not sponsoring this video you can get it for 189. I, I, I bought this on Amazon for 119 plus Amazon points and I got it for basically 211. 
And then I realized this was being shipped from Botech Tactical, went to their website, and yeah, I, I could have saved more money. So, um, but at that point, it was already shipped. Two-day shipping, it was kind of nice. So, if you look around, you can find a deal. I'm, I'm just saying that unless you're interested in getting it, it means it's a little bit more than the traditional TRL one. It is a lot less expensive than the X300. I've seen X300s, if you go to the Surefire website, they're almost $400. And if you look around, I think I've seen them made for $320 minimum. So I again, I wanted to try something else. I saw this and I'm going to run this on my duty gun. I have it on this configuration. I like it. I think this light has a lot to offer. I'm not, like I said, I, I like the, the TRL-1. I just don't like the switch on it. I like the switches that are on the TRL-7 and the new TRL series lights. And I'm glad Streamlight put these on. So I'm gonna be running this light for a while. I, I'm still, I still like Surefire, but man, it's it's expensive. I don't have 300, almost $400 to spend on a weapon light. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this for a while and see how I like it. And uh, I'd say check it out. If you're looking in the market for a weapon light and you're not, you don't really wanna spend Surefire money, you get you get rechargeable batteries, you get to customize the switches in the back and you get a charging cable and everything you need to run the light for 219, 280 on both. 289 on Botech Tactical. So I check them out. I'm going to come back in a couple of months and let you know how I feel. Maybe at the end of the year. It's time of this recording. It's November 2nd. This will probably be published in a day or two. But I'll come back and let you know like what I think of it. All right. So if you're running a TRL-1, I want to know how long you've been running it. Because I've seen people who are, you know, something like this on their handgun for about 10 years plus or something. So if you're running a TRL-1, uh, let me know how long you've been running it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Everyone be safe. Bye.